Gabo and I are headed to the guy that I keep getting deals from, the guy in OfferUp who keeps having tons of bundles, and he just posted another bundle, and I was like, dude, you need to you need to hit me up next time you post a bundle. I told you, I'll buy them all. So I reached out to him, I'm like, how much for all this stuff? We got Nintendo stuff, we got guides, we got games, we got lunch boxes, whole bunch of stuff. I never know if I ever told you, I love the smell of gas. What? No, not like, not like <laughs> fart gas. <laughs> That's why you're so toxic. <laughs> All right, so I'm here in the same spot I met him last time, and he just walks over with all the stuff, and we do the deal. So he'll be here any second, Gabo. I'm excited, oh, I'm excited to be honest. Even if I'm not going to buy anything. <laughs> <laughs> I just read for bodyguard today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My local supplier at this point. <laughs> What's up, bro? How are you, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. Good. So check out, let's go to the shade so the lighting's better on some of this stuff. So first, we got a bunch of NES games. Kind of lay a line of what we got. Ooh, Solemn's actually pretty good on Ultima, Dragon Warrior. Bump and Jump is one that not many people talk about, but Victor Kai. And uh, it's one of my more favorite top-down racing games on the NES. And you can kind of, it's called Bump and Jump because there's a lot of jumping that takes place in the game. Gabo, here's some more. Ooh, this, so this was one of the cooler ones that I wanted right here, Shockwave. It's one of those, uh, what are these carts called again? This is really great, some other ones. One of my favorite games, Unpopular. I love Popeye more than I love Donkey Kong. I'll be honest, it's one of my more favorite. Really? Yeah, I really do. Me um, too. Let's kind of poke into here. There's more Nintendo games in here, by the way, but there's Gyromite, there's Tecmo Super Bowl, there's Punch-Out, these are in the box like this. There's the cleaning kits. Uh, by far, one of my favorite looking artworks on a box. I've always said that since I was a little kid. It's funny. I noticed that when I was a kid. You know what I never noticed? Look at the back. I never noticed the way they did this. They kind of showed what the screen should look like. That's interesting. We got Zeldas in here, baseball in the box. Ooh, that's a nice. The clean one. And we even got lunch boxes. I know the one Gabo's gonna like. Ready? This is a Ricky one, Riff one, and here's a, a Gabo one. Oh yeah. my God, can I have this? No, thank you. <laughs> yeah, sick man. Oh, there's even more. Oh yeah. So uh -oh. I also got uh -oh. some some strategy guys and Nintendo Powers. Check it out. This is the best one in my sick. opinion. Super Game Boy, Super Mario Kart, Nintendo Power, The Road Runner. Ooh, the Metroid Prime official guide. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. I love this artwork on this. Ooh. Oh, that's awesome. I never noticed that. Wow. And what we got in here? Some more NES Maxes. Is this, is this for like the U-Force? So it's for the U-Force. There you go, U-Force pieces. Who's missing some of their U-Force stuff? That's the trigger of the bomb. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. ready? Hold on. Come on. And then some manuals, of course. Always good to have manuals. Manuals are, oh, that's sick. There you go, Gabo. Trojan. Oh. Double Dragon, oh. Super C, one of the, is this the Game Boy one or is that how it? No, that's yeah. an Oh no, that'd be an Operation C, yeah. Oh, that's great, man. Thank you, yeah, more controllers in here. We got the Acclaim wireless controller with the receiver right there. Yeah, I'll show you guys more of it once. I want to make sure he doesn't have to hang out. I love your shirt, by the yeah, thank way. Thank you. Really cool shirt. <laughs> all right, so Gabo and I were kind of poking around at kind of what's in here all in all, and I'll be honest with you guys. So the, the stuff he sold me was kind of valued around, um, I think higher end of 500, and he pretty much let it all go for 400 bucks was kind of where we're around. So, you know, he's looking for more games. I'm looking for more games. Doing the same thing he's doing. He's doing exactly what I'm doing. He's keeping very little and selling very lot to keep more going, to buy more stuff. So, some really cool stuff in your Gabo. What's yeah. uh, one of the coolest things I bought? Besides, and I know there's all the strategy guys for too, me? the box games down for here. Me? Yeah. This game. Yeah, Shockwave, oh, this dude. Is Sick, bro. So, so I forgot what these cards are called. I know there's a name for A -G -C -I. these kind of cards. If you look at the cover art, this is actually pretty accurate to what the game is. You play as like a space astronaut and it's kind of like a top-down puzzle type game. Graphics, music isn't anything to write home about. It's a very basic game, but again, a very uncommon game. Very interesting to have because you don't see it around ever, honestly. <laughs> Cool. And there's games like this one. I never seen this before. Yeah, you know what? They're not super high priced, but you don't see yeah. them as much. So they're a little more. I mean, remember, I'm new collecting NES games. Yeah, that's kind of. I know this is a really good game. Yeah, xenophobe. Sometimes when you see games, you're like, oh, that adds up to that much. But yeah, you'd be surprised what this, some of this. This is an expensive one. Uh, not. It's like mid tier. Yeah. But it's a very clean, yeah. clean one. Yeah. yeah. I love all these that's, right here, dude. Yeah, that's what I like. All the cards are in really, really good shape. Oh, RBI Baseball, you slapped that in there. Tecmo Super Bowl, I think that was a great deal on this one. I think that was like 30 bucks. Even Mike Tyson, punch out. He's hot. 
In the old days. Yep. Oh, dude, even manuals. Oh, yeah. A bunch of manuals in here, too. Look, Tiny Toon, uh, side scroller. Really good game. Golf is golf. Uh, I don't know nothing about this one. Karate King. Oh, oh this, dude, that's this a manual a for a Tiger for Electronics. Tiger. That's cool. Another golf. Oh, I have Tetris. So here you go. Look. There you go. There you go. There you go. Manual. Oh, oh, like please. Oh, please. No. Uh, Trojan. Come on. One of my favorite games ever. And I'm keeping this, thank you. Double Dragon, come on. They got the cards here too. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, somewhere. I saw it. The thing is here. There we go, look there at that. You go. Double Dragon. Game with man. Ooh, best NES Contra game, right there. Uh, yes. Yeah, In my I opinion. Agree. I agree. And then the other most important one to me is Gyromite right here. Why? Despite what most people say, I hear a lot of people talk bad about Rob and actually playing with Rob. Me as a kid, even though I had brothers around all the time, we would play Gyromite two players but instead of playing two players the two player way, we would actually play it with Rob. And even though it was slow, even though it was janky as a kid, in the late 80s, early 90s, doing something like this, it was mind blowing. And by the way, the game itself is in here with the manual. So beautiful. Complete. And it actually has a very good color on it. I style. got a question. Yes, sir. What's your question? Okay, that game sold separately or come with the uh, Rob? I cannot remember. I think okay. it came with Rob, right? Maybe not. I don't know. No. I can't remember. By the way, this game. Please leave cover. it in the comments. I don't, I don't, I don't like this game. No way. I don't like it. It's wow. not for me. I don't like how the screen looks, how part of the screen is. It's, it's like up. a device screen. Yeah, I don't like one that. on the top and one. Yeah, it's too 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 crowded for me. Really? So yeah, I don't. I, I like it. I don't it's like it's it. something like blue, uh, like blue Bonanza Bears. Bros. Bonanza Bros. That's yeah. Oh, and by the way, Nintendo World Cup. You look at the cover. This is completely inaccurate of what the game is because you play as the characters from Tecmo's Japan. All the River City Ransom looking tech characters. Crash and the boys. Fantastic, beautiful game. Beat this game many times with Ricky playing as Mexico for real. The music is amazing in that S game. Did you know this game comes in a bundle with other games? Super Spike Viva. Yes, I, a, I found I found it the other day. Yeah. Yep. It's the day. Today, today, today's the day. The day has finally arrived. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day. And Ricky's here for the day too. The day where we go to Blake's house to check out what he's got. Might be games, might be toys, might be vintage clothing. We have no idea. But today's the day. All right, Ricky, we here at Balakis. I don't want to show his address yet, but let's wait till we get in there. What up, dog? What's up? Good to see you. Look at this this outfit right here, bro. Congrats. Look at your outfit, bro. Oh, you got some arcades going. You got some nostalgia up on the wall already. Dang, look at this. Do you even have Obama here? Yeah, I got Obama. What's up, bro? He's so awesome. He's so perfect and awesome. We're here to hang out and have fun, but he also said pretty much anything in here is for sale. There's a lot of shirts behind me, which are kind of my thing, but first of all, I want to kind of poke in a VHS. All right, there's some beautiful VHS. Do you have like a general price range or is everything different? Are you, I mean, you can be oh, smart, dude. I want you to be smart. The wall is like, that's cheap. Like I'll do three bucks a cake on that, so. Okay, I'm gonna grab a whole ton. Yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go. So. Ricky, I want you to get down here too. I don't want you to feel left out. Go ahead, dude, go ahead. But I definitely am looking at like the Pokemons, the Goosebumps, the Batmans all right here, the Scooby-Doo's, more Scooby-Doo's, Digimon. Digimon, Ricky, you said Digimon first. Ooh, Taz. Oh, Ricky, why don't you pull some out, my guy? Pull some out, my G. Wait, Ricky, though, aren't you a big Fast and the Furious guy? I am a big Fast Come and the Furious guy. Come on, bro. Oh, look at that. Scooby-Doo and Batman. You don't remember that episode? No. Funny enough, Ricky, I actually remember this. You do? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I really don't remember. I'm like, what? <laughs> I do. Um, so these are all big? sealed. Yeah. Dang. I'm finding that one in print. Wow. wow. So is this a keeper or a seller? Uh, I'll sell that one. I have another copy. How much did you get sealed? Another copy? Yeah, what? <laughs> wow. So what's the price on the sealed one? Um, For you, I got you. I'll, I'll do... Dude, it's so hard. Like, off the top of my head, I can't remember. I'll do like 30 bucks for you, bro. I'm, I'm not going to complain with you right now. I'm scared of my wallet today, to be honest. <laughs> All right, I got myself a little stack over here of what I'm getting on VHS. I'll show you super quick. Here's my stack so far. Kind of like the fun 90s stuff. I think I'm gonna pit pull the trigger on this too. I got my first VHS tape graded a few weeks ago. So I think I might just do it just to have them. Not to sell, just I really think it's cool to do something like this. And obviously Ninja Turtles, what better excuse? But also, Balake was telling us and showing us some that we can't show to be honest. But you have a ton of like super rare 
very high-end VHS. So tell me the deal on this one. I honestly have zero clue. I put it in and it's like a it's like a fan-made like Spider-Man like episode. It's just like a cartoon, but it's like dubbed in Japanese, but it's fan-made. I love though that the person took the time to create their own bootleg cover mm -hmm. art, make it janky and all that. And there's a few other weird ones down here. Like this is super weird. I love stuff like that. Yeah, Japanese Spider-Man. <laughs> Another really crazy one. Another really crazy. If people don't know, a lot of the really B bootleg, I mean, low end C tier horror stuff, that's where the big dollars the are at. The budget was like $3,000. Yeah, and now that's what the tape's worth. <laughs> I'm low key starting to get a heart attack. Can't wait to go through these vintage single stitch, like banger t shirts. But but first, let's go see some of your video game stuff. Yeah, let's go see. And maybe some of your stuff over there. Oh, that's a good job. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good jobs. Good job. <laughs> Walking into the room of Doom Balake's room. Look at this. You got some cool stuff in here, my guy. Some CRT TVs. You got your, ooh, I love the cult movies, art, comics up here. Just beautiful. Some, oh, baby. Hey, that Doom one's expensive, dude. Yeah. That Doom shirt is a heat machine. Ooh, baby. That's a single stitch ocarina? Yes, sir. Wow, dude. Holy moly. I know, I love that. I love the Scooby. And something that I love is bootlegs, man. I love these old bootlegs. Look at that. This one might not be a bootleg. I don't think it's a bootleg. I think Mirage Studios had a weird artist that week. Because, man, that is uh, some crooked lines. <laughs> Just open this drawer underneath his bed, and I thought I was gonna find some some like naughty things or something, Ew. but instead, it was nothing but games. So, do you play games, Blake, or do you just collect, or do you sell, or a little so bit I, of all? I don't sell actually. I like collecting video games. <laughs> Heck yeah, bro! I know I'm that, a big like. collector. That's awesome. Yeah, you I clearly got cases, are. I got like. All of this is from the swap meet too, which isn't that crazy. You go to the swap meet? I've never yeah, seen yeah, you there. I've never been to the swap meet. <laughs> so Blake was telling us in, in the 90s, there was supposed to be a Spider-Man movie that never came out. But there was some dedicated fans who made their own full, full motion length picture Fan made. I, I love that you have these like fan made things, dude. I know, it's crazy. It's like, so cool though. Have you actually watched this the whole way through? I've, I've watched about probably 75% of it. It's pretty bad. I thought you were going to say 75 <laughs> times. I'm I like, know, you, know. you need more things to do with your life. Yeah. Work today is job. What you looking at over here? Look at this sweet Phantom of the Hour. Look at the sparkles on that, bro. I know. I'm like, dude. That's a beautiful, you know what? There's a lot of uh, guides out there and guidebooks, but this one is uh, Very pretty. got a little prettiness to it, bro. If this was on Tinder and I was single, bro, I'd be in. Straight up. What else you got over here? So we got some... George Seagal sculptures. That's actually really cool. I love, like, cinema sculptures and stuff like that. That is really cool. Look at the Simpsons forever. Dang. It feels like Simpsons is going to go on forever. I think it is going to go on it's the longest forever. running show ever? Currently? It is the longest running show currently. 34 seasons to be exact, Riff. What does that shirt say? I love you, you love me. <laughs> what a it's wuss. Bar it's Barney's, Barney's brother. no good brother, Eddie. That's actually really cool. Like, I really like that. And that's vintage, correct? Look at, look, look at like a drug cartel, <laughs> cartel leader in there. I feel like if I say the wrong words, he's gonna execute me. <laughs> Dude, I was, I literally started to poke through here, Ricky, his yeah. personals, and the first one I check out. Oh, oh my, gosh. my gosh, dude. Single stitch on the Disney tag. Wow, dude. That is, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. I would debatably make you an offer on it if it was my size, but I think it's probably a medium. Does it look like a medium? I think it's a youth XL. Look at this one, Ricky. Yes. Oh, you just pulled that one Boy It's a Game Boy Advance SP one. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see this one in there. Hmm. I like that color. Ricky, that's what I say when I saw you, bro. Chinese bootleg right here of the Simpsons one. I actually have this, the official one, but something about that bootleg just makes it rad. Ricky, I saw one that I know you're gonna like. You always talk about this. Oh, oh dude, I do. Oh, know Ricky versus loves spy. his Spy versus Spy. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I used to play that game, the NES game, so much. Yeah, no, it's rad, dude. It's that's awesome. super sick. Lord Almighty. My goodness, this is beautiful. I love the tag look on this too. Good grief. What just happened? What, did I, what, what happened? What happened? What'd you say? He got a little personal out of me. You <laughs> convinced him to, to sell a personal? Yep. How, how got, much? You sure? I don't want to be. 40. I got you at 40. 
does need a little clean. 40 bucks for a personal, though? <laughs> this thing's dope. I know, that's sick, dude. Oh boy, I'm scared. A couple of the ones that are just the sickest to me was the Wolverine, the Tomb Raider, and that Bart bootleg. But check these out, man. He brought out a couple of these games that I might be interested in looking at. This is, you got the Castlevania. These are, I mean, these have gone up in price, right? Oh, like yeah. well over a hundred bucks, I think, on some um, of these. One of them is around like 60, the other one's around like 110. Right? That's a lot for a game, but check this out, Ricky. Clock Tower. I always kind of say Clock Tower and Fatal Frame are two horror series that aren't as popularized as, you know, the Silent Hills, the Resident Evils. But I think has that weird, darker tone, maybe because whether it's justified or not, it has a little bit more of that, like, Japanese, almost like the ring versus, what was it, Juon, or Ringu versus the ring. Yeah. And I feel like that kind of stuff just, I don't know, sticks in my head a little more. All right, Ricky and I are gonna start digging through some shirts in here. I know that's not everybody's jam, so we won't go crazy showing you guys. I know you guys wanna see more like the games and the VHS and all that, but even just like a simple scroll, right? Say you're not into vintage shirts, right? But you're scrolling, you're like, wait a sec, I'm into old Mickey. I'm into, what is on the back of this? Some old Tasmanian devil stuff. Look at this right here, and just come on. If you're, a, look at vintage bulls, beautiful colors and so much beautiful stuff. Ricky's going hard. We'll dig and then show you guys in a little bit, but stick around. Oh, actually, I should have showed this one. Sure I got my Fred Meyer Nintendo King Griffey shirt. I'll trade two for a shirt, maybe. Maybe. Trade, trade bait? Who maybe. knows? Who knows? Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. All right, gotta go to my car. I got some trade for Blake, but yes, I'm gonna pick up those video games, those VHSs, and now it's time to poke through some of the shirts, but also gonna look at more VHSs and video games in a little bit. But first now, some trade. I got a vintage single stick Dick Tracy, a vintage DMB Dave Matthews band, a vintage Marlboro one, single stitch, and an absolute banger Mickey right here that I know he likes. All right, Balake, this is just some stuff potentially to use for trade as some ammunition. First off, we got uh, we got the big Mickey that you know about that I showed you, the Jerry one. So that's that's one of them. That's a sickie. Got some cool art on there, looking beautiful. You know people are asking on these, right? A single, I know, I know, yeah. People, no, these are a pretty desired one. Yeah, it's a, a desired one. The fade on it is great oh, on this Marlboro. Vintage Dave Matthews, Matthews band, 2003 cool. Central Park one. I love this. Just so you know, and maybe you're not Blake, but we were huge Dave Matthews band heads. Oh yeah? Big of time. Of course you were. Huge, bro. The big faces. Straight up, single stitch. Yeah, of course. Look, it has the stamp too. Some of them don't have it. That's where they saw AMC Burbank. I don't know what. Yeah, so it's the actual, when they saw it, they got it stamped on there. Blake just said he does have more video games to sell us, so stay tuned for that. We're not worthy! Update, we're back in his room looking at video games to buy. We'll show you later. You don't need to see us dig. All right, Ricky, if you get the next point, we get 20% off our purchases. And if Blake loses, oh, Ricky, no! Dang it, Blake, we have to pay 20% more Let's than go. retail value. Let's Dang go. it. <laughs> All right, my pickups as far as games go, first thing is a banger. It's gonna be Contra Force. It is the manual. It has a little writing on the back, but that's okay. Blake's gonna hook it up a little bit. A cool Pokemon Advance. This is the Game Boy Advance video. You plug these into some of the old SPs, things like that, and you can watch Pokemon. Next is a whole stack of games, mainly PlayStation 2. We got Family Guy. We got Ratchet and Clank. Gears of War 2, sealed. And we got Batman Begins, Sly 3, Ratchet Deadlock, Shaman King and the best, Okage, the Shadow King. I think I'm a little over 200 bucks for estimated value for now. He's gonna, he knows that I'm not keeping all of it. Some of I am. The ones I'm definitely gonna be keeping is this. It's just sexy, dude. I mean, it's just like oozes sexy. He's adorable. You're adorable. Ergy, show me what right. you got. So I got this Nintendo DS bag. Tony Hawk underground with box. You know what's crazy is Tony Hawk isn't underground. I can see him. He's above ground right there. The whole game's a lie. Oh, I see? never thought of it like that. Think deeper, Ricky. Oh, and you picked up this. Zelda and the Phantom Hourglass. Yes, wow, Ricky. Good job, Ricky. I'm really proud of you. You suck, you only bought three items. All right, Blake just pulled out something, and you I don't even think you knew. I, I was pretty much gonna buy it for whatever he said. This is Amityville Horror, and this is Sealed. So, if you've been watching the show for any amount of time, you know I'm obsessed with horror. That's my thing, that's my love, it's my passion, is horror. This is the first movie I ever saw on VHS ever that was a horror movie when my parents weren't home. This is what started my obsession with horror and it's literally the reason I got this tattoo. It's kind of like the blood that oozes down the stairways and the hallways. That is the representation of why I got this. Hey, for real though, I, I used to think that was just a, like a, it was like infected or something. What, this? Yeah, it's not infected. This is called a tattoo, it's infected. okay? It's for men who aren't scared. Ricky! Ricky's always wanted one, but he's too scared. 
But let me show you some of the shirts I got. They're super sick. So I got this 91, look at this, dead stock Rocketeer t-shirt. I don't even want to pull it out, I'm too nervous. This is super sick. It is one of my favorite colors within a vintage t-shirt. It is a single stitch and it just has beautiful print. And then I love this Daffy Duck one. It's a little bit roached out, but that's the way I like it. You're despicable, amazing. All right, boys, that's everything. Ricky, what did you spend today? I spent a cool 100 bucks. I spent a cool 250 bucks on all this. Who would know? If you look at this and from an outsider, you go, why'd you spend 250 bucks on this stuff? Trust me, it's awesome stuff. Blake, we're out of here. Blake, say goodbye. Oh, Blake, can you, can you give us a really bad for my son? For my son? You look like everything I want to be. <laughs> hey, man, how much? Uh, you want to sell that Pokemon 2000? Yeah, 50 bucks for you. For my son. For my son.